Hello, welcome to a cold, a wet and grey man cave. Well, actually, the man cave's not cold, wet and grey. The man cave is nice and warm and cosy, but outside it's cold and wet, which I really like because um, I rarely see it. So I've been out in the rain already this morning. Uh, right, um, the purpose of this video is to go through 2025 Edward releases. Every year, Edward hosts their own model show. It's called E-Day. And... In that, as part of that show, the boss, Vladimir, will do a presentation and announce what's coming for the next year. And some really exciting releases on there, which I'll go through in a moment. One thing, though, is um, I guarantee this list is not exhaustive. Um, there's other stuff coming. Uh, one thing else that is announced is some of the special editions or the profi packs of the Royal classes that have all come out, such as the 109G10. Um, that's out um, in sort of end of Q1, beginning of Q2 uh, as a profi pack. The P51 Mustang is coming out as a special edition, uh, long range um, Pacific boxing, things like that. So I'm not gonna go through that in detail, what I'm going to go through, though, are the new tool releases from Edward and also some of the special editions where they rebox other people's kits, but they put their own sort of spin on it and their own extras in uh, in a real neat package. I have my spectacles, um, but I'm hoping I'm not going to need them because I've got my list down here and we'll get cracking. So the first one is in April. So there is going to be new releases in January, February, March of what those are. I don't know. Hopefully a nice surprise. They did mention the uh, they previously mentioned that the A6 M5 zero in 48 scale that was due to be out this year. Um, has been delayed. Uh, so maybe we'll see that in Q1. We'll have to see. Um, I guess we'll just keep an eye on the newsletters. But anyway, April is the first announced release. And that is the Hong Kong models Lancaster uh, in a, one of these special boxings deta detailing Operation Hydra. Operation Hydra was the attack on Pinamunda in 1943. And I imagine this is going to go along the lines of the 100th bomb group so there's going to be uh, a whole load of aftermarket thrown at it um all the obviously all the photo etch and the canopy masks um maybe some resin as well who knows and a whole load of different markings uh, for you to choose from so that's really cool um also in April is one of the new tools that's been announced is the Albatross D3. That's out in April. I'm actually really quite, I really quite fancy that one, I think. I've always wanted to do um, a World War I biplane in the lozenge, um, uh, the lozenge pattern for the wings, and then maybe the bare wood fuselage or, or maybe a colourful one, I don't know. But for some reason that appeals. I'm not a biplane or a World War I modeler particularly, but that appeals. And it's Edward, so it always appeals. Okay, moving on to May then. Uh, right, what was announced was a, I'm reading it down here, uh, was a Kamikaze Tokatai in 48 scale. Is that the A6M5 though? I don't, I don't know. Uh, there's a bit of a fuzzy photograph. Uh, difficult to see, but I'm just wondering if that is the A6M5 coming out in May in a special edition boxing. I'd have thought it would have come out in a in a Royal class, but they've kind of reserving Royal classes for the 72nd scale kit. So maybe that is the A6M5. I don't know. Maybe the A6M5 is going to come out um, in Q1. I don't know. But that possibly... That possibly is the A6M5, and the first time we're going to see it, we shall see. Okay, um, and I'm actually, again, excited about that. I've got the A6M2B up there um, as a Royal, uh, not as a Royal class, quite the opposite, in fact, as Overtrees. 
and I really quite fancy doing that having just read Tsuburo Sekoi's book recently. Okay, in June is uh, in 72nd scale now is the MiG-21 BIS. I'm not sure that they've released the BIS in 72nd scale yet. I'm pretty sure they haven't. With the 48th version of the BIS, um, they made a conscious decision to not do the BIS nose because they said it was so close to the standard nose that it wasn't worth doing, yet there was quite a lot of nicky nacky new going on, on the internet complaining that they didn't do that. Whether this will have the bis shaped nose or not, I don't know. Knowing Edward, I suspect it will actually, because they tend to listen. Um, and if it's if it's genuine, you know, if it's just whinging and moaning, um, they gaff it off, um, and quite rightly. But I think that gained a bit of traction that uh, and quite a lot of people were unhappy. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if that comes with an all new fuselage with the bis shaped nose. Uh, I've had my 72nd scale one in the stash ever since it was released and I've never got around to building it. Um, but I really, really want to at some point. It's just too many, too many ni other nice things. Um, but that again really appeals what also appeals in june is the p40n in 48 scale so in the middle of the year we'll see the first of the 48 scale p40s they're going to do all of them and uh, more of that later there's there's other ones coming along down the line next year but the p40n i think is my favorite so i'm really excited that that is coming out first i have a 32nd scale one in the stash that I wanted to do as a Dutch one. And I will probably, well, I'll definitely get that. And I will do that as a Dutch one. That is an absolute fact. So really excited to see the first P40 is an N and it's out in June. August is another reboxing, another reboxing of a Hong Kong models kit. It's the B25J. I really like that Hong Kong models B25 and 48th. I think it's a lovely looking model. Stress skin, rivets, right up my Strasa. So severely tempted by that one. Um, but I am in the middle of riveting the Airfix 72nd scale one at the moment and I really must crack on and do that. Right, nothing for July. Um, uh, sorry, yeah, nothing for July and nothing for September. Uh, in the announcements so that kind of floats in middle in the summer that one uh, but October is the 48 scale MiG-21 F-13 uh, a very pretty aeroplane actually the uh, the early variant with the smaller streamlined nose the bubble canopy and uh, that's been in uh, and you know that's been announced and in the catalogue for a very very long time finally looks like we're going to see it now in October and uh, again, I'm severely tempted by that. I did build Hobby Boss or Trumpeter's version of that. I did it as a derelict one. And uh, that was a lovely kit, actually. Um, fair play. That That's their A-team on that one. And it's a very nice kit. But lovely to see this one finally see the light of day. Because it's been talked about for a very long time. Okay, moving on to November is the Kitty Hawk 3 in 48 scale, another version of the P40. This one is gonna be in 112 Squadron markings for the initial release. And um, it's nice to see actually a manufacturer doing the 112 Squadron aeroplanes before doing the Flying Tigers, because Flying Tigers gets, in my opinion, far too much coverage and um, and I get it. American market is a very big market. So is the Far East. And that appeals more, arguably, than the uh, British 112 Squadron ones. But, you know, the shark mouth on a P-40 that the Flying Tigers did 
was inspired by, if not copied, and fair play, who, you know, I'd have copied it, uh, copied from 112 Squadron in the desert. And it's fantastic to see that as a um, as an option. I've built the, obviously I've built the Hasegawa one. I've got quite a few Hasegawa P40s uh, in the cabinet. And my one that I did in desert, uh, Camouflage, 112 Squadron, I ended up selling, um, which I kind of regret because I really like the look of that. Um, so, yeah, I'll get that one. Definitely. Right, and the last one that we've got some dates on, and there's some other kits I'm going to talk about at the end, uh, is really exciting for me, is in December, they're bringing us a 172nd scale Spitfire Mark One. I I am slightly disappointed that it's not a Mark V. However, because that is my favourite, uh, well, one of my favourite Spitfire marks. Um, it's about time we saw a 172nd scale Spitfire from uh, a, a new tool of one of their sort of the short nose earlier Spitfires from Edward. The, um, I can see why they go for the Mark 1 because it is the least popular, but I'm definitely going to get it, even though Mark 5 is my favourite. And I think what I'm probably going to do as well is our, um, this will come out in a Royal class for sure, um, uh, no doubt, with um, two kits in the box. I'm going to buy a Mark 9 and I'm going to bung the wings and tailplane on it and I'll probably get a cheap Airfix Spitfire for the prop. And I think it should be fairly straightforward with a few modifications on the cowling to uh, make a Mark V like that. Now, whether the wings are going to fit that well, I don't know. Um, depends on how they're going to tool it, I guess. But um, yeah, hugely exciting for that. And um, no doubt in 2026, we'll see the Mark V anyway. But um, yeah, really exciting to finally see a new tool. Spitfire in 72nd scale from Edward, and that's out in December. Um, again, uh, right, I guess all those dates are provisional. Um, things can change. Uh, will we see the Spitfire in December, or will that be delayed a little bit and tip over into 26, like so many other things? Oh, excuse me. Um, I'm filming this very early. Uh, or, uh, yeah, are they going to stick to it? Who knows? Right, so there's other things that were mentioned that are in the pipeline that they didn't put a date on. So one is the 48 scale S199. Really looking forward to that. The 72nd scale version of that is just utterly, utterly beautiful. Um, again, another kit that's been talked about um, by quite a, uh, for quite a while by Edward. Uh, and... Um, seem to keep kicking the can down the road on that one um i get it they're a business they're scaling down their new releases a little bit because the whole market has kind of slowed down a little bit so i understand uh but i would have thought you know we'll see that next year uh the mig 15 again was mentioned but no timeline on that either uh, the mig 15 and 48 scales obviously the upscaling the 72nd scale one uh rumors of a mig 17 as well so the 15 and the 17, but I can't see the 17 coming out anytime soon. Um, uh, I doubt we'll see that next year, even if it, that is a thing, because the MiG-15 must be quite well advanced, I would have thought, seeing they've been talking about it for so long. And also uh, Ammo by MiG have um, recently released one as well, although that's a bit of a limited edition one. Um, I think that was Kinetic molded that for them right one thing obviously i haven't mentioned is the p51b because um i mentioned that in a separate video and uh yeah that's caused a huge buzz loads of comments um on my facebook and uh on the youtube video where i mentioned that but the intriguing thing is about 30 second scale is they're gonna they've announced that they're gonna do one other Is that the P51D? 
I don't think so. I think it'll be something completely different. And the reason I say that is if you've already announced a P51B and you were going to do the D, which I'm sure they will at some point, or maybe they won't because of the Tamiwa. Surely you would have mentioned that at the time. You know, why Why say we're going to do a P51B and another 30 second scale kit? Surely you just mentioned, and of course we'll do the D in due course, but we can't say when or, you know, we haven't planned that yet. It's just an idea we're having. <clears throat> Surely they present it in that way. So I reckon that is going to be something completely different. I, uh, what could it be? Um, it's going to be something mainstream. Uh, if we have a look, right, what has Tamiya covered? They've covered the Zero, they've covered the Mustang, um, and the Spitfire 8916. Qatari are doing the uh, earlier Spitfires, the one, the two, the fives. So I can't see it being a Spitfire. Um, obviously, they've already announced the, the Mustang, um, the Razorback, and the, and the D will come, I'm sure. Uh, to me, it's done the Zero, and they, they've done the Bubble Top Mustang. So is it a Zero? Hmm. What else is kind of like really mainstream? Um, nothing Russian. Man, I'd love a Lag 5 FN. Oh, that would be amazing. Um, but I can't see that happening. Um, has a Garo got a, P50, uh, a P47? So maybe it's a P47 um, in 30 second scale. Um, 109? Could be a 109. Um, couldn't it? So, yeah, who knows? Uh, if I was going to put my money on it, I would say a 109. Um, personally, uh, because 109 sell, and a 109 is going to sell more than a P47. But there we are. Uh, okay, uh, that just a little speculation at the end, right? That is Edward's. 2025 some really exciting things in there most of it we knew about you know um the albatross the p40s the mig 21 um so the only new new thing that's been announced there really is the 72nd spitfire and we're not going to see that until december oh sorry I, yeah that's the only nothing that's not being talked about um but um, I hope you found that useful. Some actual meat, stunning it, some meat on the bones for next year, some timings, um, maybe some sort of marking type things. Um, and uh, yeah, starting to get that detail, which is cool. All right, I'll leave it there. Um, great to hear your comments about this one um, down below. And uh, no doubt there'll be others coming. So thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye bye.